Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium where I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is the return of Wild Arms. This is requested by Stephanie. Whistle of the Warrior, and in brackets it says Boomerang Theme. Don't know who Boomerang is. Uh, before you guys type anything or say anything, um, I'm actually about to start playing this game because of the music. There's so, I still have to listen to a couple more songs from this before I start playing it. I will be playing this starting August 1st, and that'll be on my Twitch channel, and then the VODs will be right there. I'm super excited. Uh, I play games based on the music itself, and everything I've heard from this, you know, I'm a huge Spaghetti Western fan. I love the Sergio Leone films, and uh, I love all the movies, and here we are. So, I don't know anything about this game, and I've purposely ignored everything on just so I don't, so I go into it totally fresh. So, I'm going to ignore anything. Hopefully there's no spoilers that you guys leave. But this is Whistle of the Warrior from Wild Arms. I will be playing this game very soon. Let's go. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, composed by uh, Michiku Naruke. I love her. She's so good. Ooh. Sounds a little... A little more serious. I gotta get, I gotta start practicing my whistling again. Sounds kind of tribal like. Sounds like a kazoo. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I like that. It's a really quick fill. I've never seen this image though. Alright, let me gush a little bit. Um, it's pretty much what I've said about all the other Wild Arms stuff, right? As soon as I heard Wild Arms for the first time, I don't remember which one it was, it might have been three. But either way, like just the Wild Arms series, it's just always captivated me. Because I grew up with these movies and I still watch them. And I'm of course referring to the Sergio Leone movies that have music from my favorite composer, which is Ennio Morricone. Um, you know, we basically created that genre of, you know, the whistle and the wow, wow, wow all that stuff, right? That's, that's his genius at work. But it, c it couldn't have been possible without a very special um, Italian musician named he has a weird name. It's like his name two times. It's Alessandro Alessandroni. Uh, I'm not sure if he's still alive, but you can look him up. Um, he is the whistle guy from those movies. He is that, he's that whistle you've heard. And you don't normally think of a whistle as an instrument, right? It seems kind of novelty. But if you watch him and hear him, you're like, oh, he knows what he's doing. Also, he's the guitarist for those songs. So that twangy, like Fender Stratocaster, wow, wow. That's him as well. 
I'm not sure, now that I think about it, who the like classical nylon guitar stuff is. Maybe it's him. I don't know that for sure. But anyways, the sound of the spaghetti western is essentially whistles, gallops, a twangy electric guitar, and a nylon classical guitar. Um, of course, the whistling seems to be like the big thing in Wild Arms from what I've heard, which is great. Like every song I've heard has whistling in it. So it's like very iconic in that regard. And in this one, it had the nylon guitar. So as you hear like a bring, bring, doing very simple things. And in this one, it had more of a kind of uh, more battle-like percussion. Do, 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 do. Like preparing for a battle type of thing. I don't think I've heard that type of percussion yet from this game until now. And that is also in line with like the showdown sections of these movies. You know, when the duels are about to happen, when they have their guns ready and all that. And, you know, one thing I think... I'm, I feel like I'm really going to love playing this. Hopefully the game is good. I have no idea. Hopefully it's good. But I feel like I'm personally going to have a lot of fun with it and gush over it because I can talk about like these movies and why more people should try them out. And Because maybe you thought the way I did when I was like in your youth. You'd think they're kind of like cheesy. If you've never seen them and you only know them through like memes or like I don't know now. Wow, you might just you might not take it seriously. I guess that's kind of how I thought. And then as I grew older, I was like, "Damn, these are actually really sick movies." <laughs> like, the story is amazing. The acting is great. It has a perfect amount of humor and serious tone and sad scenes. The music is unbelievable, and it and it's throughout the whole movies. You know, it's like a it's almost like a comic book. It's just there's just music and random scenes all the time. It's like it's never like too quiet, and it's just it's just great. It's iconic stuff. There's a reason, you know, these songs and videos on YouTube. You'll have like millions of views. It's timeless since the '60s, man. The '60s. <laughs> so you know when people still visit like all those locations from when they were filmed. Clint Eastwood is like the last person alive, which is crazy. Everyone else is past unfortunately he's pushing 90 something so <sighs> and it's not just him right there's charles bronson as well and all that but what i'm saying though is like their impact is huge enough to make a series of video games called wild arms and a series of sequels from this so and i can't even begin to tell you how many composers and musicians have been inspired off of Ennio marconi Obviously, um, uh, Michiko Naruke has clear inspiration. This, t it's entirely Ennio sound, right? Not saying that she couldn't come up with that herself, but it's very clear that Ennio Marconi is like drenched all over this soundtrack because it's so iconic. Um, it's so iconic that like Quentin Tarantino, like most of like, you'll hear some of Ennio's music in Quentin's movies. Also, a lot of Quentin movies have a Sergio Leone feel to them. They have this like comical zooms and all that. He has gone on record multiple times saying like he loves those movies. I think I could be wrong about this, but I think it was a quote that his favorite like movie scene of all time was the final duel in The Good, the Bad and the Ugly, which I don't want to say much, but you know, so the impact is huge is what I'm saying. So I have a lot of anticipation going into this game. And that's why I hope it's good. <laughs> Because it just feels like everything has like led me to this point. Because I never, I, I didn't, I, I owned a PS One, and I saw the name Wild Arms a couple times, but I never like looked into it or anything, you know. And I don't know. It's just it's cool that like I feel like I'm going to go back in time to check out this game. I still have no idea what that title refers to. I'm guessing like weapons, arms. But who knows? Either way, I'm beyond excited. This song was great. <laughs> I didn't even talk about the song. It's great. It's great. Um, all I wrote was that it uh, it really captivates that feel, or captures that feel of these movies, and um, it it kinda kinda reminded me of like the showdown theme of A Fistful of Dollars. Not really, 
just like the first like three notes that little dun 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 dun, dun, dun. anyways uh, I'm excited there's still a couple more songs I have to do but um I'm super looking forward to this to uh, this gameplay and you know I still have to look forward to the other games I still have requests from two three four and five <sighs> okay enough of that Thank you, Stephanie, for the request, and thanks to you for watching. Check out those movies and get back to me. They're called the Dollar Trilogy. There's more, but you can check out the Dollar Trilogy or uh, Once Upon a Time in the West is one of them. Um, if you want to see my playthrough of it, it'll be right here, and the schedule for those streams will be here as well as the VODs. Anyways, I'm rambling. Take it easy, everyone. Yeehaw. <laughs> thanks to everyone that you see on the screen. Peace. Take it easy.